I'm Ollie Walker, and welcome to the new and improved Blow Out the Cobwebs. <laughs> right, let's go again. I'm Ollie Walker, and welcome to episode four of Blow Out the Cobwebs. Now, before we begin, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to be kept up to date with future episodes. Now, this episode, we're changing things up a little bit. We're going to be heading out to Stoke Newington in London, and we're going to be having a chat with Andrew Bolt of Bolt London. Let's go. So, Andrew, so thank you for sitting down with me, having a talk with me. Andrew Bolt, biker, former mod. Well, yeah, I'd never say mod, to be honest. I would always say suede head or scooter boy. Really? I was always, I loved the scooters. And I loved riding them and looking after them and building them and breaking down and going on road trips. But I was always kind of outside the scene. The scene wasn't really of interest. It was more about a group of friends and riding and that kind of side of it. So how did Bolt get started? Um, I worked in my career. I worked mainly in charity. Then I moved into the arts. I worked for the Barbican and the University of the Arts. I had all these jobs and the Barbican was my last job and I absolutely loved it. I realised that this didn't work in big organisations. I found that I'd hit a ceiling with creativity and it would come down to politics or kind of just big organisational sludge. And I thought, you know, motorcycles are essentially quite sexy things. They're very beautiful things, especially custom bikes. It's about bespoke and identity and all these things. And I just thought there isn't a shop that really reflects that. So in terms of like riding, scooters, motorbikes, where did that begin for you? Um, initially, I was working in Mozambique. I used to do development work. And I lived in a mud hut in the middle of nowhere. And the only way of getting from one village to the other was on a motorbike. So I got given a little Honda 50 and a little Yamaha 75. I remember thinking the 75 was fucking shit up a stick. It was like, <laughs> the extra 25cc was like, give me the Yamaha. So I got a 60s scooter just as a means of transport. Um, and then eventually, from breaking down and meeting other people with them, I got kind of more into the scene. Then I got a Lambretta, being six foot four. None of them suited me, really. <laughs> um, elephant on a little bicycle. Basically, I always think like the, the monkey with the cymbals. <laughs> um, so I carried on with the Italian thing and got an old Motor Guzzi Ambassador GT850, the old American police bike. It was a beautiful thing. Okay. Am I right in saying that they kind of their electrics were the kind of hard part, or was it? Just... Yeah, mine was. You know, it was a 40-year-old bike already when I got it, and it had been hacked by Italian electron. You know, it had household fuses in it and stuff <laughs> like that. You'd be going down, and just bits of the bike would be flying off. <laughs> Well, it seems like you sort of started out as a, it would seem like a kind of a retailer, but the, the brand, Bolt, is it, sort of evolving. At the moment, I've got three collections or four collections coming out this year. We've got one with Jeff Griffin, and that was our kind of four. He's always been well known for doing military and kind of super technical stuff. Second collection we're doing with Edie Ashley. Edie's just straight out of fashion college. He comes from the Laura Ashley family. He's got a great heritage in kind of British manufacturing. Be terrified by the whole thing, but produce something that's very exciting. And I've got my mainline Bolt collection. Um, there we've just brought the new denim jacket out. That's all really exciting. Final one, we've got a collection coming out with Barber where we designed a small capsule for them. Where do you see biking culture going with kind of the next generation of riders? I think motorcycle culture is going to become more fragmented. I think the people who got into it because they liked the look of it, the whole experience of it, and kind of came in on this kind of custom revival, I think they're fragmenting into different areas. Some have gone into the kind of the chopper thing. Some are just different types of riding. People are getting to dirt riding, people are getting to race riding, kind of informal races sometimes rather than professional racing. Um, I think you know, a lot of people got into it and now they're finding their own little places within it. So I think diversification, really. What's your favourite motorcycle? My favourite motorcycle, I guess, if I had to pick one for me, it would be a Vincent Black Shadow. I think it's such a beautiful looking engine. It's just visually stunning. Performance wise, it's, you know, it was the fastest bike in its time. Um, and it just it has the history, it has it all. It's rare, it's beautiful. I'd love one of them, yeah. 
talking. No, man. pleasure. Yeah, no, a lot of fun. Thanks for watching episode four of Blow Out the Cobwebs. A big thanks to Andrew Bolt and Bolt London for having us, and we look forward to bringing you the next episode very, very soon. Until then, ride safe. <laughs>